cut it shorter You'll always have long blonde hair You'll always be Memphis queen You'll always be my first time In New Orleans No matter where I go No matter what I do I'll never be 23 With anyone but you You can marry who you want Go back to Tennessee But you'll never be
since I uh, put out my first album, Montevallo. You guys up here on this side of the border have been very supportive of us over the years, so a big thank you to you guys for giving us the adventure of a lifetime this past decade. This, uh, this next song uh, just went number one just a few months ago. It was, uh, it was my 10th number one. I was very excited about that. This one's called Outskirts. There's so much going on in this town. 
keep me busy, I've been running Hey, running, loving down all these avenues Doing everything to about you As long as I stay on, I'm fine The city side of the city left side You don't really cross my mind As soon as I get out here on the outskirts I wish I was running by your house first Something about the summer and the south shirt Shines like gold down these old Brown, brown, river valley back roads Way back in the hollow where the grass grows Got a mind and baby we were that close Ditching this town, settling down Out here on the outskirts If I'd have had a look at damn sense I'd be on the right side of that fence Little star house and finally outgrown Twelve hundred feet about the add on Smiling out there watching them Big ol' yellow buggies about to break ground Why you shooting on my baby next time? As soon as I get out here on the outskirts I wish I was running by your house first Something about the summer and the south
out for free up on the internet back in 2013. Up on SoundCloud. This song kicked off this whole adventure for us. Song about growing up in Georgia. This one's called Raised Up.
was going out in radio flames. Yeah, I wouldn't have a clue what you've been up to lately, who you've been up to it with. But when I don't miss your calls, how can she call in? that I put out this spring called Locked Up. But if you take all those songs and put them together, that's kind of my third album. But uh, this next song here, it uh, is our most recent single. We just sent this song to country radio. It's, uh, it's a song about getting back out into the country. This one's called Country House.
live in a country house, a country house in you.
make some noise for Tim Bracey on the bass guitar and the smooth vocals. Ten years since I put out my first album, and uh, several years before that, I left the little small town that I grew up in down in Georgia. As an 18-year-old kid, I wanted to go out and see a little bit of the world. Uh, I have seen quite a bit of the world since then. It has been a wild adventure since I left my little hometown. Uh, but, you know, back then I wanted to get the heck out of where I grew up. But here in the last three or four years, especially since starting a family, I can kind of feel the pull of home on me a little bit. It's almost like I've made a big old circle. And I can kind of feel where I grew up pulling at me a little bit. And I don't know if I'll end up back down where I grew up in Georgia, but I know I can appreciate a lot more about who I am and where I'm from than I could have as an 18-year-old kid. Uh, a lot of you guys have been hanging with us for a decade now, and it's been really cool in the last three or four years to come out come out here and tour and see a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are bringing your kids. You've had kids since then, and, and you know they're, they're five, six, eight, ten years old. To see them out here singing along to house parties is really special. It feels like we've all kind of grown up together. I got two little babies now myself. So maybe some of you can relate to this next song here. It's a, it's a song about growing up, but it's really a song about coming back home. This one means a lot to me. It's called Sometimes You Gotta Start Nowhere.
start a band and get discovered in a honky-tonk somewhere but uh, I got up to Nashville and I discovered this whole songwriting community of guys and gals who were writing the songs behind the scenes for a lot of people that were singing on the radio at the time so I fell uh, I fell in with a crowd of these guys and girls and uh, started writing songs trying to get them recorded by artists who were already on the radio with record deals and uh, after two years of no luck I caught a big break somehow Kenny Chesney heard a song that I had written and he recorded it, and uh, he ended up putting it out on the radio, so that kind of helped me get my foot in the door uh, in, in the music industry in Nashville. And then uh, three or four months after that, uh, Keith Urban recorded the song, and Billy Currington recorded the song. So um, I got on a little roll there for a minute, and I got a call from uh, a record label shortly after, and they asked me if I wanted to make my own album. And I said, absolutely. So. Now I had to figure out what I wanted my songs to sound like after trying to get songs recorded by other artists for a couple of years. So that took me about 18 months of experimenting and then uh, one afternoon we wrote this next song here and I knew when I finished that day that I had the first song for my first album, Montevallo. So I wrote my whole first album around this one song. It was a big breakthrough moment for me. It was uh, kind of a blend of my, my country music roots and uh, and some of the R&B influence. I grew up just outside of Atlanta, Georgia, so there was a lot of R&B music around. So this song kind of straddles the fence between my country roots and my R&B roots. It's been a few years since this one came out, but if y'all remember this one, y'all sing it with me if you would. I don't know if you're looking at me or not. You're probably smiling like that all the time. I don't mean to bother you, but could you just walk by and not say hi? And I know your name, somebody in here knows your name. You're not looking for anything right now. So I don't want to come home strong. But don't get me wrong. Your eyes are so intense. My heart is pounding, but it's just a conversation. No, girl, I'm not wasted. You don't know me. I don't know you. But I want to. And I don't want to steal your freedom. Thank <laughs> you. 
Chicago. And others, but this next song here is probably probably the truest song I ever wrote. I uh, it's about an experience I had back in uh, when I was in college. I uh, I met a young lady and I wanted to take her out on the first date and I wanted to do something special and I uh, I heard from a buddy of mine about this place out at the airport where the fence was cut and you could drive out there and pull the fence back and park the truck by the runway. And so I halfway believed him. The young lady agreed to go with me that night. We, we drove out there and sure enough, I found the spot where the fence was cut. This is back before security got real tight at airports and uh, or at least in the South where I grew up. And uh, I hopped out, turned the lights off, pulled the fence back and we pulled the truck right up to the runway got up on the hood of the truck, and we watched these big 747 planes as they would take off. They'd be coming dead at us like they were gonna crash into the front of the truck, and then just 50 yards out in front of us, they would start to lift off and sort of disappear up into the night sky above our heads. And it was a uh, it was a romantic way to spend a Friday evening on the outskirts of Birmingham, Alabama. We were having a good time. Everything was going uh, according to plan, but Unfortunately, before the night was over with, we both found ourselves sitting in the back of a police car. At the time, I, I thought it was unfortunate. Luckily, luckily the officer, he gave us a hard time for about 20 minutes, and he ended up letting us go. So thankfully, he did not haul us off to jail. And then uh, the rest of the silver lining is, it fast forward eight, eight, nine, ten 10 years later, I ended up getting married to the girl who I was in the back of the car car with. Well, my, my wife Hannah, God bless her, she's been out here on the road with me the past two summers taking care of our two new babies make, so that I don't miss anything back at home. So a big shout out to my wife Hannah, I want to dedicate this one to her. I mentioned uh, the last song is probably the most important song in my career. This one probably means the most to me because it's the truest part of my story with my wife Hannah and I. Keith Urban recorded a version of this and uh, I, had a, I had a version on my first album, Montevallo. This was called Cop Car. We drove right past that no trespassing sign. Sat on the tailgate and watched the plane take off. Thought we had all night, there was no need to rush. That's when those cops came pulling up. And I thought, man, ain't this. Your daddy's gonna kill me. But if I survive tonight, I wouldn't change one thing. Baby, yeah, I know it sounds crazy. But there was something about the way the blue lights were shining, bringing out the freedom in your eyes. And I was too busy watching you going wild, child, to be worried about going to jail. You were thinking that running for it would make a good story. I was thinking you were crazy as hell. She was so innocent, she was still in my heart. I fell in love in the back of a cop car. Man, they weren't playing. They sure threw those cuffs on quick. You tried to sweet talk them. They didn't fall for it, but I did. You were on the left, I was on the right. Knew you didn't smoke when you asked him for a light And I laughed He got mad and slammed the door I swear your daddy's gonna kill me But if I survive tonight I wouldn't change one thing Baby, I know it sounds crazy There was something about the way the blue lights were shining Bringing out the freedom in your eyes And I was too busy watching you going wild
Tangled up in the tall grass with my lips on hers. On the highway to heaven, heading south of a smile. We'll get there, we'll get there. Every inch is a mile. Body like a bat. I knew I'd see her around. Might be at some party. She'd show up and I'd be walking around. we across some parking lot. Hiding behind her sister. Where I'd look up and she'd be at the red light beside me in that white max with a sticker on the back. Now that, like I didn't see her. We pay at the same pumps, look through the same stations. Slow down the same curves, run around the same crowd. We just needed some time. She get on her life and I get on mine. Thought I'd be fine. Maybe not. I knew she'd find a way to get over me, but I never thought she would get down. Somebody got no
on your loving Got me buzzing like a street light It's still early out in Cali, baby Don't you wanna rally?